For a while now, we have been exposing the fact that the mainstream so-called black American church is embracing the LGBTQ plus community and its agenda. This defilement though has been gradual. In the most recent act of compromise, high profile American pastor Jamal Bryant was invited to speak at a conference by a gay bishop and his first gentleman, where he decided to apologize on behalf of the black American church. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first, uh, Bishop, thank you for having me. Uh, this uh, means more to me than it does to you. I want to give past pleasantries uh, before we have a conversation. I am here because the black church owes this community an apology. And uh, I wanted to come tonight uh, not just uh, as pastor of New Birth. I wanted to come for the pastors who have hurt you, for the pastors who did not exercise Christ-like compassion. I've gone around the world fighting for Trayvon Martin, for Freddie Gray, uh, for Michael Brown, uh, and in my pulpit, I committed hate crimes. And I, I needed to come for the blood that drips off my hands. Your acknowledgement, your humility, and the integrity that you have displayed in this moment means more than you could ever imagine. Of course, this is not new. Kirk Franklin has been on an apology tour to the LGBTQ community for years. Even on the gospel music industry's version of pop idol Sunday Best, an LGBTQ contestant was welcomed. I don't know if uh, the audience is ready for an LGBT contestant. In 2014, John P. Key brought out Tone, also known as Anthony Williams, a former gospel artist who is now an unrepentant homosexual, who has stated that he believes people are born gay. He was brought out onto the stage at Kojic headquarters and there was no real outcry from the gospel music industry or even the leadership at Kojic. The Jude Free Project and Jackie Hill Perry also tried to sneak in corruption by telling the body of Christ that same-sex attracted people don't need to seek deliverance and can live with their reprobate mind. Um, you, you mentioned something that I, I want to kind of hone in on that I think is important for our audience. You talked about kind of a mixed... Um, sexual orientation, uh, marriage. And you said it, but I don't think people understand what that is communicating. Mm. I'm I'm thinking, and and I could be wrong on this, when I think of somebody like my friend uh, Jackie, who said publicly that she's not attracted to, to men, she's still attracted to women, but she is attracted to her husband. And I was watching something. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. It's not surprising since everyone seems to still be embracing gay affirming antichrist Bishop Carlton Pearson, even though he continues to deny the gospel of Jesus Christ. I still follow Jesus and love Jesus. And you know what, even though I don't believe in a God that requires blood sacrifices, that's quote unquote pagan, I have to be careful how I use that term. It's mythological. Uh, I don't believe that God would require blood sacrifice. I still like, because I'm used to the songs about the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. I know it was the blood. I grew up on those songs. It reaches to the highest mountain, flows to the lowest valley. Andre Crouch's song, The Blood. I'm not offended by them anymore. I just, and I can sing them maybe even with tears. You, you may think I'm really crazy, but those old hymns, H-Y-M-N, are beautiful to me because they, they helped inform my transcendent appreciation and brought me to where I am today. So you don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I just now... Don't believe in certain aspects of Christian fundamentalism. 
but I have very some some very precious and sacred memories about the way that 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 I lived out that expression and that experience, and I don't apologize for it. I'm just not stuck there. Stop. Have you ever wondered why no one really seems to take a stand on these issues? No one with any high profile calls out the mess? Well, a few years ago, a frustrated Ty Tribbett gave us the answer. The gospel music industry and many of these well-known denominations and organizations are all tied into the beast system. When you are in the belly of the beast and the beast pays you well, you must be careful not to upset him, lest he spew you out and you are left penniless. Industry, I, can't, I can't do it. It's not godly. God didn't establish, establish the music industry. He didn't establish the gospel music industry. It's an industry. It's just, and to, to, to make music and to use the gift God gave you and to put all your blood, sweat, and tears. I know I sound like every other artist, but you put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. You put excellence into it. You, you know what I mean? The Lord gives you a gift and you want to give it back to him and point it back to him. And then you got to place this baby called a song into the hands of a godless industry. The call with, with, with um, you know, a business call. And, it, and it's like, I'm not selling out, y'all. I'm sorry. It's like, yo, your song is hot. Da, 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 da. If you do this, we can get you. I was like, yo, man. I was like, nah. I literally just hung up on the call. I literally like, hey, y'all. I can't do this right now. I know it's, it's really all about the money. And I, I ain't selling out like that, yo. So uh, uh, I'm out. What I mean all about the money is, like, if you got money, you can get certain platforms, period. If not, you got to do certain things to get that platform and make certain compromises. But I, I can't compromise, man. I can't. And y'all pray for people, man. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy dance. It's a crazy dance to hold on to your integrity, to hold on to your convictions, and then to be in this world, but not of it. It's a challenge to not be of it. it depends on how ambitious you are. It depends on how, how much you desire it. Nah, I don't desire it that bad. People know, artists know what I'm talking about. Labels know what I'm talking about. Uh, PR, everybody who's in the industry know what I'm talking about. And I'm not hating on nobody. I'm just not willing to do certain things. As the saying goes, show me your friends and I will show you who you are. The Bible is clear about associating with heretics. Let's look at biblical principle because this is not my feelings or my opinion. 2 Timothy 15, 20. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun prevain and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus. I have a right to call names because like I said, this is not private. This is public. Paul here is talking about Hymenus and Philetus who what concerning the truth have erred. And what was their error? They were saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. So to say that the resurrection of past. Yeah. To say, to say it's to, to overthrow the faith of some. And this is not the resurrection of Christ. They're talking about our resurrection to say that lesson, everything's it's all over. If you're going to say that, you're put, you're you're just basically telling people just live how you want, <laughs> just do what you want to do. Jesus has, has come, he's gone, and he's come already. <laughs> just live, just just do what you want to do now. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand of sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that name of the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, and this is another thing, if Paul and Jude and the New Testament speak so much of people who are going to creep into the church and false prophets and wolves in sheep's clothing, then doesn't someone have to help point the church to who they are? But people now say, oh, you, you're talking about this one and you, you, you're casting a spurt. I am not finding anything secret. This is all in public. So we know that in our great house, there are vessels of gold and silver. There are vessels of wood and earth. That means there are some dishonorable people in the kingdom. And there are some honorable people. And why do we have to call them out? Titus 3, 9 to 11. 
avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law for they are unprofitable in vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such have subverted and sinneth and being condemned of himself. Easy to read says, stay away from those who have foolish arguments, who talk about useless family histories or who make trouble and fight about the law of Moses. Teachers, these are useless and will not help anyone. Give a warning to all those who cause arguments. Remember I said he's causing arguments in the faith now because he's saying there's no hell. He's saying that you don't necessarily have to follow Jesus to get into heaven. You can be homosexual and make it in. Give a warning to all those who cause those arguments. If they continue to cause trouble after the second, this man has been warned. Like I said, even by the, the heretical people he came out of, he's been, I'm sure he's been warned by true people too. He's been warned. After the second warning, don't associate with them. You know that people like that are evil and sinful. Their sins prove they are wrong. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both father and son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed. Speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. He's, the complete Jewish says, everyone who goes ahead and does not remain true to what the Messiah has taught does not have God. Those who remain true to his teaching have both father and son. If someone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not welcome him into your home. Don't even say shalom to him. For that person who says shalom to him shares his evil deeds. Yes, in that picture, he wasn't invited into these people's homes. But like I said, when you are taking pictures with people like that and you are not writing in the caption, I reject this man's doctrine. I reject everything he says against the, the Lord Jesus Christ. I brought him to me and I, re I rebuked him and I hope that he gets saved. You're I'm sorry, you're a partaker. The Bible says that abstain the very appearance of evil. I'm not saying that you can't fellowship with people who are not Christians. That's not what I'm saying. And Paul will say that too when we read this. Listen to this principle regarding the case of sexual immorality. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and the kind that even the pagans do not tolerate. A man is sleeping with his father's wife and you are proud. Shouldn't you have gone into mourning and have put out of your fellowship the man who has been doing this? For my part, even though I am not physically present, I'm with you in spirit. As one who is present with you in this way, I have already passed judgment in the name of our Lord Jesus, the one who has been on the one who has been doing this. So when you are assembled and I'm with you in spirit and the power of the Lord Jesus is present, hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh huh. so that the spirit may be saved unto the day of the Lord. Paul is saying, depart from this man. Let Satan deal with him. Pre-adventure, Satan would mash him up so bad that he would actually turn back to Christ. Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough? So having this man in your presence, having you rebuked him and he's not listened, and because you haven't put him out, this little corruption is going to cause a huge problem. Get rid of this old yeast so that you may be new unleavened bread as you really are. 